Hello everyone, this is Christine with Patter Crafts and today I am excited to be participating in Team Tiny's August Hop. The hashtag for this hop is Team Tiny Summer Florals Hop. So each month Team Tiny does a hop and it is a hashtag driven hop. So you would just have to go into the search bar and enter the hashtag. It will be in the title of this video. I'll also leave it in the description box. So feel free to just click on that and it should bring up all the people who are participating in this hop. I think there's around 20 people. So you should be able to see all of the amazing creations that these wonderful, talented creators have created. So the images that Team Tiny is using this month was supplied by Summer Quarters. Summer Quarters has a shop on Etsy and they do digital images. So the Summer Quarters owner was very kind and sent each member of Team Tiny who is participating in the hop for floral designs to use in the hop. I am choosing to use today the daisies image. It was just my favorite. <laughs> so, of course, the fun thing about using digital images, which is something I am very new to, and I won't say very new, but I've only been using digital stamps for a couple of months. Yeah, two or three months. I'm not exactly sure when I first used one, but I've always found digital images to be quite intimidating. I wasn't sure how to use them. Could my printer print them? Would I be able to color them? All, all those things. So if you've never used digital images and those are some of your same worries, I think we have all been there before. But I was pleasantly surprised when I first started using digital images that my printer prints them without any problems. I can put my 100 pound cardstock through it without an issue and I can Copic color because Copic coloring tends to be the uh, medium I go to every time for coloring images. Um, I do have some of the Arteza real brush pens, but I'm not too thrilled with the brush tips on them. So I kind of, I have them, but I don't really use them. Not for coloring. I might use them for other things. And um, I, up until recently, which was like two days ago, I did not have colored pencils. But my sister-in-law was super, super kind and sent me, um, a, a, I think it's a 12-pack of the Prisma colored color pencils. So I'm super excited to try those out. We had gone camping a couple weeks ago, and she brought them with some coloring books and stuff. And I had made a comment on how I have always wanted to try the Prisma color pencils and well you know when you're camping one thing leads to another and I never ended up using them and she was super sweet and she mailed them to me so thank you so much Kala I totally appreciate it so moving on to my image now that I am coloring these daisies um, I am using the C3 and the C1 marker because the petals I want to be white. Now they do look a little gray, a little probably too gray here, but I do use the colorless blenders on this and that will help lighten that up as it dries. So in the end, the petals should look white, but at the beginning, sometimes it, 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 it definitely looks a little more gray. So for the inside of my flower, I am using the Y15 Y06 and Y11. I probably could have skipped the Y06 or the Y15. They were very similar and they didn't really give that enough of a difference where I probably needed to use both. Um, but that's what I had for yellows and I went with it. <laughs> so for the leaves, I am using some YG markers. So we're going to start with the darkest and this is the YG67. So anywhere I think it's going to be a little darker or have a little shadow, we're going to go in head and bring that in. I do move my images around a lot when I'm coloring because I have more control over my marker when I flick towards myself. 
Um, not to say I don't flick away from myself, but if I'm concerned about going outside of the lines, I definitely tend to flick towards my body. It's a lot more comfortable. So sometimes when you're coloring, especially if you're using any kind of alcohol marker, do what works for you. You might need to just want to try, you know, moving your image, flicking away from you or towards you. Or sometimes if the area is really tiny, I use more of a, of a like just a, like just dots, just adding little dots instead of, you know, actually, you know, uh, flicking any of the color. So for this particular card, and because this is a hop, and I'd love for you to check out all the channels, I did keep the, I tried to keep the video short. So I'm only going to show you the coloring of the one flower. Now we're going to go ahead and zoom to the next part. And this is the finished coloring. So I am using a stitched rectangle die, and we're going to go ahead and cut this out. And I'm going to put this on a white card base. And you'll notice some blue there on the back of my card base. And that is from the mat I was coloring on. So it had been stained with alcohol ink from a project I did a little while ago. And I just let it hang out there. But then I've noticed as I'm coloring on it, because um, I was coloring directly on my table, but I found some of the colors bleed a lot and they are staining. So I've been pulling out that little craft mat. And... Anyway, so I must have pulled up some of the ink from the craft mat. Thank goodness it didn't come through to the front of the, to the front there. Now, this is the point I realize I put my foam tape on and I did not stamp my sentiment yet. So I'm kind of looking at what sentiment is going to fit on that thick foam tape because I spend so much time coloring this. I really needed this to stamp well. And it did. I'm very thankful that the foam tape I have is super thick because I was able to put that hello friend basically right over the foam and it came out really nice. I was super happy. But I did hold my breath for a minute going, please work, please work. <laughs> so I'll just go ahead and adhere this to my card panel. And to finish this off, I am going to add a lot of Spectrum Noir Glitter Brush to all of the petals and the inside of the card. So I just show you just a little bit here and in the end you'll also see some Nouveau Glitter Drops in the color White Blizzard just to add a little bit more detail and finishing touches. So th this finishes my project for today. Thank you so very much for joining me. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed please consider hitting that subscribe button don't forget to follow along the hop hashtag team tiny summer florals hop but again thank you so very much and have a wonderful day bye